Golden Amateur has. And that's exactly what he said he would do in the early going is to just see what he brings at him. Southpaw Lomachenko in the goal is the guy that wants to be aggressive here, but Salito wouldn't let him back him into the corner. What he did tell us, Salito did in the fighter meetings, was just the fact that he said, I'm going to show him what a professional fight is all about. And it is a different game, the professional game and the amateur game. A guy seemingly who was one close to 400 fights as an amateur. And exchange punches, that's the first real exchange of the fight. This is round two, we're at the Alamo Dome. I'm the Colonel Bob Shirt with Larry Merchant and Christina Poncha. This is our WBO Featherweight Championship of the World featuring Orlando Salido, who lost his title on the scales yesterday. It looked like he was about four pounds over the day before. Maybe they dropped two pounds in that last workout late Thursday night, but I think come Friday morning there, they knew that. And it didn't happen. cost him uh, the kind of money we've heard other fighters. Fifteen grand, I think Fifteen thousand yeah. dollars. The, the scrap isn't worth that, uh, that kind of uh, tearing your body apart. And pushed and pushed, and even if he's lost all the rounds, he, he looks stronger after the middle of the fight. But here, he seems uh, uh, determined to frustrate the young fighter and maybe make him more anxious. And uh, maybe hit him uh, uh, And that he did it while Lawrence Cole was behind the other fighter and couldn't see it. He's trying to be patient also. I mean, just an aggressiveness in this round and leaning towards Salido for this round. One of the things Lomachenko said after his first fight, he had a little mask under his eye and said, I don't like getting hit with these professional clubs. He's like, I'm going to work a little bit on my defense in this training camp. Housekeeping set up for round three. And who's going to do it? But in Las Vegas, seven and one people think that it'll be Lomachenko. You can see the uh, more aggressiveness in the eyes of both fighters right now. That one's taken on the shoulder. Lomachenko stops, plants in front of him. He's an in and out guy, using his shoulder that time. You know, I can do the same thing, and I will. I'm ready to fight a professional fight. The right hand just uh, by Salido. If, if, as you say, uh, he he's concerned about getting hit harder with these smaller gloves. So we'll see if you can see in his body that the work that Salido's put in already. And Christina's talking about Lomachenko. Correct. So he was using the amateur distance as a one more. Well, he's been trying to be as smart about it against this uh, supposed technical wizard. We come to the end of the fight if it goes the distance. So far, he's doing what he wants to do. He wants the fight, he wants to engage, but as Larry said, this grizzled old veteran, he knows what he's doing in there too as a professional fighter. While he's given the title up, he hasn't given anything away. So $15,000. Fight the two gold medals and the one million amateur. Here's a case where Salido decides to come back and throws a wild shot. Catches the glove and so he's not one of those late 20s, early 30s guys we're seeing that is. And that's what I'm expecting in this fight. I get a lot of anticipation as to what might happen before this thing's all over. Well, in these close rounds, Salido just being more active, throwing more punches, like that could very well get him. Thousands of fights. Uh, just who's the house fighter here? Keeping in mind uh, to what Larry's talking about, Salido being from Mexico and a huge Mexican population here in San Antonio, South himself imposing his talent on this old goat. Straight left hand down the middle. Just the best indication <laughs> I can give. 
<laughs> when you when you've got when you've got three rounds and, and we've only missed five, that it's too close to call really. But I suspect if it goes a full twelve rounds, by the seventh or eighth round we're gonna start seeing uh, Salido open up. Wiley old vet, Mondo Salido. We're reaching the shots here in this round. Because that was just the first minute of this uh, sixth round. The other prominent V's, as I call, stop, stop. they've stalked and hunted down um, whatever, whoever we've seen them fight. Um, that's not Romanchenko's style, at least not against his. Toledo's in the second gear now, too. There's a fight happening in the stands. And There's the a fight happening excited. in the stands. And the, <laughs> more, the more action there. And I think many people, including myself, admittedly thought that this fight, Toledo versus Lomachenko, would, would possibly even steal the show tonight. It just hasn't lived up to that caliber thus far. But there's a long way to go yeah. yet. <laughs> Which makes my scoring even more difficult now, because I get a dead even after this round. If I give this round to Salido, which uh, now it's something we all want to see what he's got, because he's never been, as far as we know, seven rounds. He's saying to Lomachenko, welcome to the big city, kid. When he gets inside, he really makes Lomachenko pay when he gets tied up. Um, if Salido wins, it's a vacant oh, work. Well, this is an interesting round. You know, um, the one thing I, I see, Colonel, is that Lomachenko is a natural right-handed person yeah. who fights southpaw. And uh, but, you know his style of uh, quickness and and touching and whatnot really lends to the type of boxing there is in the amateur style. Really, really Frankly, I don't know who wins this really. stop, stop. Uh, Alamo Dome, which means we're in San Antonio, Texas. Legs buckled, uh, just what happened to his knee, but uh, it looked like uh, Lomachenko. Now this is the Salido we've seen before. Once the second half of the fight comes on, he, he tries to just out hustle. heart yeah. and out yeah. hustle. And look as close as these early rounds have been. But, <laughs> I mean, if he if he does continue to carry on through these quote-unquote championship rounds, then, I mean, this could be anywhere with these scores. Whether he gets the decision or not, he's got to turn it up not, and, and him dictate what's going on here. You know, he's so confident in something to realize, hey, this is what professional boxing is all about. It's a little bit different than what I thought. And well, he wanted a title fight in the first fight. Much decorated amateurs who turn pro is they don't get the idea that just winning isn't, isn't really good enough. And he was dominant. He really was, but it's just it's just completely different, and he's with a seasoned vet. He's in a, in, in a battle now that I don't think he expected to be quite this tough. And who knows, he could be ahead by four points right now, or he might be behind by four, I don't know. But make no mistake about it, because of how close he's found is, he still could be, you know, comfortably out in front of this fight, or he could be behind, I don't know. From the champion. Yeah, and in the close rounds, I think that uh, the judges, at least from what I learned at the conventions, they have a tendency to give. Handled Salido, right? Knocked him down four times. Oh, Mikey, I mean. He's a good amateur and brought along by the Garcias uh, in Oxnard, California. With a minute to go. Well, I think Salido is throwing the more most pu punches. He's the Seems aggressor. So he don't know exactly what he's doing in there. Lomachenko is now in a professional prize fight at this time. You know, a long time ago, um, when I was in college, Colonel, and the coach said, this ain't no county meet. <laughs> right? <laughs> this, this is a professional prize fight. What have you done lately? It was a good sign that uh, Chavez making weight yesterday. That was a good first step. 
it's nothing like being in a long fight. Yeah, no matter how many sparring <laughs> sessions or sparring partners yeah, you've sparring had. Sparring 15 rounds is, doesn't necessarily get it. Mexican style boxing stuff. Chico looked like you want to hang on for the first time in the fight. 18 years of professional price fighting. And came to America, by the way, with a coyote. Crossed over the, the border and is now um, near becoming a uh, confirmed legal resident. Uh, he pushed him down. Didn't really shift Lomachenko. I mean, I think Salido is winning this round, but certainly, oh, nice right hand by Salido. He caught him stepping around that time. I don't know how many times he's won the Mexico, but that was a borderline punch. That was not a low punch. That one right there was. But that one was. That one was. Now watch this right hand. One of the better punches of the... He's got him in the middle of the ocean right now. Of the Gulf of Mexico, get in the middle of the action and interrupt it. And this, those are good borderline shots. And this particular referee likes to let him fight as much as he can. Lomachenko, is, his body language shows a little urgency here. I'm sure his corner has told him that uh, he could lose his fight. He may have lost one out of 400 amateur fights. Uh, he's in danger of losing one out of two professional. Fairly close. You get the idea that Lomachenko wants to pick up the pace more now. And Larry, I, I suspect you said it's true. And again, that was a low blow, but again, the position of the referee couldn't see it. Maybe he hasn't had to deal with that in, in, in his 400 amateur fights. But you can see he's trying in some way to make something happen. He knows that there is a real urgency here. And that would be a test of it. Is the shoulder by Lomachenko. Smacks him on the well, inside. Well, that was a good professional move. Yeah, it was. <laughs> oh, he's learning as he's on the fly here. Now, I think this is an entertaining fight. It's just a grueling, hard, professional fight. Not clean action. No, it's, it's not. not. graphic action. No, you can't see. And, you know, you'd have to be in the third row to see what, what's really happening here. On the judges' score sheet, I do have Salido slightly out in front. But that doesn't mean anything in that I have. Break! So he must have wanted him about the low blow finally. He said he needs to set up. But you know, Larry, you're right. He, he doesn't jab his way in. I'm sorry. You know, I, I'm, I'm unimpressed. I mean, I'm certain. When we know Salido's a better fighter than that, in that we expected him to be a psychological problem in that he lost the, the, the title on the scale. But Salido is a, a rough, tough, really good. Right, well, and seeing, uh, and seeing Mikey Garcia take him apart. He's making some money, but um, we're not going to see him um, break, be break, a... Um, well, Machiko caught him with a straight uh, left hand. Yep. Caught him with the right hand, too. They caught him in the chin, and Salido I think, might be in some trouble. Yeah, I think he did hurt Salido, and Salido is hanging on here. Yeah, he is hurt. Shot to the body right there. We had been calling for those body shots the whole time, and he finally landed one, and look, he hurt him. Too late, huh? What well, do you think, we, Colonel? I, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't I, know. I, he's hurt. Now let's see if the can finish him off. Blood coming from Salido's mouth. He caught him good. Salido is in a heap of trouble here now. Afraid the two, I think this fight can could go either way. Could be a draw, or could be a draw. When you get it that close. But remember, there were four or five rounds of this fight. Let's see. Is Look it, at them battle to the bell here, folks. 25 seconds to go. Is it too little, too late? He's just holding on. So all he can do right now, so it's clear Loma chick around, and he has hurt Salido in this round. With that said, you give the guy a lot of credit. That's well, the well, ball he's, game. He's just holding on. That's so all he can do right now, so it's clear Loma Chick around. To the winner by split decision, Orlando City Salido. How about that? Well, we're on the money.